Hi, this is Daryl with True Image Video. I had kind of a unique situation where I had to videotape a, uh, a baseball player. Uh, coach asked me if I could get some real close-up shots. He wanted the camera close, but of course that can put the camera in danger. So I came up with this, this right here. Now this is just a piece of Lexan. I haven't even peeled off the uh, protective coating yet. But I got the Lexan bolted to some angle brackets, and then to the angle bracket, I got these PVC crosses. Now I bolted them onto here, and I'll explain what these are for in just a second. Uh, but I did put uh, PVC pipe inside there, glued inside there, and then chopped it. And I did that on all four of these, and that helps for the strength issue okay now also what it does on this side and you see I got some set screws here is it just so happens that this PVC fits these rails almost perfectly and this guy right here whoops I got on eBay use it for a few projects now uh, it works pretty well as it is kind of a uh, starting point for a lot of different projects uh, I put a quick release mount on it and of course this will mount on a tripod and then this just goes right in there it slides right in of course you gotta make sure when you glue this PVC up that you got the distance correct and then of course I got the set screws set these set screws, you don't have to set them very tight, it's not really going to flop around at all but in, anyway what you end up with is this piece here and this mounts on the tripod mount your camera on it and then there you go. So once I peel the protective layer off, of course you'll be able to videotape right through the clear Lexan and you've got your camera protected. Depending on what kind of situation you're in, if it needs additional protection, I was kind of coming up with some things with some other angle brackets and mending brackets that uh, will mount on here. So what I was going to do, and I haven't done it yet obviously, is put two more angle brackets on there and then mount that on top so that you have a top cage for it. Uh, now, if you were really concerned, you could put steel mesh over this. I mean, you could really go nuts if, if, you, if you had the situation. Now, most people don't even have a need for something like this, but if the time arises and you'd rather not smash your camera up, then uh, something like this could really come in handy. So, anyway, that's my do-it-yourself uh, protective camera cage. Uh, I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.